Good evening to all of our respected guests. Go away, one, huh? Welcome to the fourth annual News Connect Gala Concert. We will be inviting daily News Connect Kwanyue Disjie Nianlu Yue Shengwei. My name is Liu Yuling Chen. It is my honor to be here to deliver the warmest welcome to all of you on behalf of News Connect. But first, I have to say, wow. It's been a long time. It's great to see your beautiful faces, right? I remember the last news from that gala concert took place here in Washington Town Hall in November uh, 2019, which was about 849.49 days ago. I know I'm pretty good at math, right? Well, but can you raise your hand if you were here in 2019? Oh, some of oh, many of you were here. All right, great. So, if we met, if we had met back then, well, it's really nice to have you back here. Welcome back. And if you are new tonight, we are very happy that you are here with us too. So, I'm just curious. Please raise your hand if this is your first in-person concert after the entire pandemic. Oh. Oh, many of you! Great, welcome. For those who didn't raise up your hands, I know you're party goers. So, oh, I mean, thank you for supporting arts and music. Well, but the most important thing is that we are all here today to celebrate and to appreciate music, art, and this beautiful community. This year's gala concert is very special. Because Muse Connect is partnering with the Taiwanese Overseas Community Affairs Council (OCAC) to celebrate its 90th anniversary, 90 glorious year, and looking into the future. 在此要先对中华民国侨委员会九十周年光辉九十朝见未来献上最真挚的祝福，也特别感谢侨委会从创立以来对于侨务与侨民的支持。在各方共同努力下，让世界听见台湾的声音，也看见台湾的奇迹。In the past 90 years, OCAC has devoted themselves to supporting and connecting the Taiwanese overseas communities, so that these compatriots can contribute to serve as bridges among different countries and cultures around the globe. These efforts are in perfect tandem with Miss Connect's mission. The Chinese name of Music Connect is Kua Yu, which means to stride across. But the second word Yu is replaced with another character with the same sound Yu, which implies music. By doing so, it gives the name a double meaning. It symbolizes that Music Connect serves as the bridge that enables music to stride across the borders, communities. Ethnicities and generations. News Connect's mission includes three main focuses. Number one, creating platforms for young musicians. News Connect truly believes the notion of pay it forward and is dedicated to facilitating and communication and exchange between musicians from different generations through its concerts and master classes. Two. Connecting and building up relationships. And these relationships include, but not limited to, between the audience and musicians, between different generations, but also between different communities, cultures, and languages. News Connect firmly believes that music is the language that can surpass cultural boundaries and limitations and bring people together. That's why we are here tonight, right? And we may come from different countries and cultural backgrounds, or speak different languages, but there is one thing that ties us all together, and you know what that is. This is the music, and that is the language that we all love and speak, and that is the reason why Music Connect exists. Number three, giving back to the community. As the old Chinese saying goes, 取之于社会，用之于社会 It means apply what you gain from the society and give back to the society. News Connect takes this saying to heart and dedicates themselves in bringing our society 
to a better place mm -hmm. through music. It's very meaningful that today's concert is held in Washington Town Hall. Not only are we grateful for the relationship and sponsorship, more importantly, it proves Muse Connect's commitment in community outreach and creating more accessibilities to musical performances and education. Apart, apart from the annual concerts, Muse Connect hosts tuition-free master classes that provide opportunities for young musicians to learn from esteemed masters. The holiday concert held in Flushing provides stages for pre-college musicians to showcase their talent and passion for musical arts. Muse Connect also sponsored high caliber musicians and ensembles, including the acclaimed Renaissance duo for their Carnegie Hall debut concert. Without their passion in, in music and their determination to serve as the bridge between the musicians and the audience, we wouldn't be sitting here and about to enjoy the music tonight. As a 501c3 nonprofit organization, Muse Connect is entirely supported by its board members and the generosity of its sponsors. As you can see, the tickets for tonight's concert were not for sale. Hence, Muse Connect sincerely invites all of our beloved guests to be the change that you want to see. You can support Muse Connect and its mission by sponsoring your future events through the QR code at the back of your program. And I know it's very trendy. It's a QR code. Touch us, right? And now, I would like to introduce the board chair of Muse Connect, Pauline Huang. Many of you know Miss Pauline Huang and all the wonderful contributions that she has made across the community. But if I tell you all of her achievements and charity work tonight, we probably have to stay here until next year's Muse Connect Gala. So I'm just gonna focus on the main points and then I will let you read, read the rest on your own in our program. Holding an MS degree in accounting from Pace University, Ms. Paul Huang is the co-founder of the United Customs Service, specializing in international logistics and customs cons consultation. Her company is heavily involved in transportation work with Amazon USA. Meanwhile, her interest in fashion and new technology keeps her involved in anything that's innovative and creative, which has been a big part of her pursuit in her professional and creative life, resulting in her company's involvement with Amazon e-commerce logistic work. In her career, Ms. Huang strongly believes in the value of volunteer and charity work. Giving and social responsibility are the motives of Ms. Huang's active role in multiple nonprofit organizations. She tirelessly promotes art education, music, and cultural exchange in the world of Queens and beyond. Currently, she serves as the board chair of Ms. Connect and the board of director of Flushing Town Hall. What's more, her extraordinary commitment as the ambassador of Queen's Botanic Garden will bring us the ninth exhibition of Taiwan Award of Orchid this August, co-hosted by Taipei Economic Cultural Office. It is an absolutely gorgeous and beautiful event that you all don't want to miss. But personally, I am very touched by one thing that Ms. Pelay Wong told me before. She said, which means take others' need as our responsibility. And you know what that means. As a performer myself, I'm very touched by the actions Muse Connect and Miss Wang are taking and grateful for the stages and platforms they create for the younger generations. And what I appreciate the most is that they don't just talk the talk, they walk the walk. So I actually just told Miss Pauline Wong that I would like to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> don't judge me and don't you dare question me. I'm turning 18 next week. <laughs> All right, so now please join me to welcome Miss Wong to the stage to share a few words with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Ambassador Lee, Gerda Chen, Mr. Phil Bowman, 
visiting um, Queen's Orchestra Office, Council Women's Centra, you made it. <laughs> and all the good friends of Muse Kangnet who are here today. Good evening. On behalf of the board of Muse Kangnet, I'm delighted to welcome you and join us for commemorating OCAC's 90th anniversary in the Muse Kangnet's fourth annual gala concert. Muse Kangnet is a 50163 nonprofit organization dedicated to providing an immersive platform and an educational forum for classical musicians and the audience members. Our goal is to build a cross-cultural bridge between the East and the West through the very category of creative musical skills. For the past four years, Muse Kangnet has achieved great success in promoting the musical arts for both musicians and the music level. We believe the mission has become even more necessary today when we see the current state of the world. The global pandemic has been going on for more than two years, destroying many lives and still is impacting to all of us. We must count ourselves very fortunate to be here tonight enjoying the beautiful music. Music is the language of the universe. Music inspires us and unites people from all walks of life. Music it creates a measure of love and the peace. I would like to take this opportunity to offer my sincere appreciation to our outstanding musicians as well as distinguished artistic board. Professor Samuel Rose, Professor David Witten, and Professor Ming Feng Xin. I also want to deliver my ultimate gratitude to all the volunteers helping to make this evening a wonderful reality. And last, not the least, thanks to all of you. I promise our mission will create bonds through music will continue to carry out for many years to come. Thank you and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Wong. And yes, indeed, it was a physically very long walk. But metaphorically, it's also a very long walk since March 2020. And I, can we all give ourselves an applause that we made it here today? And thank you for still putting your mask on and do all the precautions that we can to contribute to our society. Thank you so much. And now, it's my honor to introduce our special guest and invite him to come onto the stage to share a few words with us. But yes, you heard me, I said a few words. <laughs> Because we don't want this event to be as long as the academic award, you know, as known as Oscar, and we don't have to start tonight, if you know what that means. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so, if you didn't bring your watch, I will be your watch. When it's time, I will give you a gentle smile like this. <laughs> Which means, you know my subjects, you know what that means. If you didn't get a cue, I will gently walk to your side and say, Time to say goodbye. And you know that is your time. Well, thank you. That was my performance. But first, it's my honor to invite the ambassador and director general from Taipei Economic Cultural Office, James K.J. Lee. Uh, to the uh, uh, Pauline Huang's 
invitation uh, to the News Connect annual gala uh, at Fashion uh, Town Hall. Uh, News Connect, under Pauline's uh, support and guidance, has continuously supported high caliber Asian American musicians in many endeavors. Um, tonight's gala amplified this effort. Uh, while benefiting, benefiting the community as a whole. As we enjoy classic works performed by our talented musicians, uh, the gala also aims to celebrate our, our musicians' rich heritage and uh, pay tribute to the diverse Asian ethnicity found within the Queen's community. And I wish uh, tonight's gala a great success, and I hope you all enjoy tonight's performance. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vestali. Next, please join me to welcome Mr. Phil Ballman, representing Queen's Borough President Office. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very honored to have this opportunity to take part in today's Muse Connect 
concert. Everybody must connect and send my warmest regard in this video message. Music Connect is dedicated to bring together East and West and cultural inheritance. Since its establishment in 2018, it has offered a stage on which young musicians can perform. The cooperation of music artists from different generations and cultural backgrounds, merging Eastern and Western cultural elements and styles, display the precious value of music ability to span generations and ethnic groups and cultures. On behalf of the Overseas Community Affairs Council, OCAC, I offer my sincerest respect and thanks to Muse Connect Board Chair, Pauline Huang, and the volunteers. Attaching importance to overseas compatriot affairs, the OCAC was established by the ROC Taiwan government in April 1932. This year marked the OCAC's 90th anniversary. As an important bridge between Taiwan and the overseas compatriots, as well as continuing to make an all-out effort to protect and strive for the rights and interests of overseas compatriots to promote national development. We also hope to use this special day to look back with the support for the ROC Taiwan of the people who have come before in the overseas community and remember overseas compatriots' contribution to and care for Taiwan over many years. Therefore, with 90 glorious years and looking into the future, as the same, guidance has been provided to the overseas community for holding the celebration of 90th anniversary of OCAC event. It symbolized a look back at the practical overseas compatriots affairs work carried out by the OCAC. 90 years of service to overseas compatriots around the world and our deep affection for the overseas community. It also expressed the hope that the overseas community will continue to work with the OCAC to create a better future. We want to bring overseas compatriots everywhere together to celebrate this special day that belongs to all of them. The OCAC hopes through cooperation with Muse Connect to let the people of New York listen to the beautiful music that integrates diverse musical cultures and also hope that overseas compatriots can continue to use Taiwan's unique soft power to bring together the overseas community to enhance exchange with local mainstream society. Finally, I wish today's concert very success and all guests and attendees health and good fortune. Thank you very much. Music brings us together. Technology also brings us together. All right, we did pretty good on time, right? I didn't even get to sing time to say goodbye. I guess next time I have to ask me to write a song for me to make the performance. Well, but Muse Connect is very grateful for all of your support to making this gala concert possible. We want to thank our sponsors whose generosity made this event possible. We want to thank, and I have to take a deep breath before that, Ace Mountain Corporate, FNT Group, Top Asian Real Estate, Link and Love All Foundation, Mr. and Mrs. Sam and Sophie, SSC International Inc. USA, HIC Dime City Men, and The Seeds. Thank you again for your support. Whew. Oh, thank you. I didn't expect that. I'll take that, even though I didn't have a long walk. And tonight, we're also very honored to have many special guests among us to support and celebrate the success of Mies Connect. Even though we didn't have time to announce everyone's name tonight, but each of you who are here presenting tonight are our special guests. 
And we are very lucky to have you in the audience to support our musicians and Muse Connect. All right. Are we all ready for some wonderful music tonight? Yeah. Not enough. Are we ready for some wonderful music tonight? Yeah. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm a musical theater performer, so I don't really have a chance to get to know or explore classical music. However, I'm always fascinated by its flow and elegance and its depth. So tonight is going to be a masterclass for me. Please join me to welcome our first piece of the night, the Deep Suite for Piano for Hands by the BC, performed by Winnie Lenny Young and Professor David Witten, followed by Three Romances Opus 22 by Carla Schumann, performed by Max Tan and Jinky Park. <laughs> 